during the violence of the Second Intifada, when the world stopped visiting Israel, thousands of Christians from the world over arrived, as always, to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles with the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem. In fact, for the past 40 years, nothing has prevented thousands of Christians from joining the ICEJ festivities, until now. This year, the coronavirus has achieved what Israel's enemies could not. With Israel under a nationwide lockdown, as the COVID-19 pandemic rages, everyone will be celebrating the week-long Jewish holiday of Sukkot, also known as the Feast of Tabernacles, from home. While the streets of Jerusalem are normally packed with tourists and pilgrims for the holiday of Sukkot, this year is unfortunately different. Finding itself in a second lockdown, the streets are now empty. The International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem, or ICEJ, is celebrating its 40th anniversary, and Sukkot was supposed to be the highlight. But since people cannot travel to Jerusalem to celebrate Sukkot, this year the ICEJ is bringing the holiday right into people's living rooms and churches. Working together with major Christian TV networks, TBN, Daystar, and God TV, the ICEJ will broadcast seven days of seminars, prayers, and more, both via television and online. It's a real shame that even in tough years where there were wars, rocket wars, terror bombings, our people always came. Even when other tourists, other visitors were canceling their hotels, canceling their flights, our folks uh, always came. They knew we can't just be fair weather friends. Sukkot is one of the most important holidays in the Jewish calendar, commemorating the 40 years the Israelites spent wandering in the desert before entering the Promised Land. The Feast of Tabernacles is unique that of the three pilgrimage feasts that God gave to Israel in the wilderness, Passover and Pentecost or, or Shavuot and Tabernacles, Sukkot, it's the one where the nations are also invited to come up and join the Jewish people here in Jerusalem to worship the God of the Bible. For the past four decades, evangelical Christians from roughly 100 countries have taken part in a march through Jerusalem, waving flags and handing out candy to children, a show of support that will be sorely missed this time around. When they're marching in the streets, it's such a highlight to have that march and for Israelis to be standing on the sidelines and and to be embraced and to be to be told we love you in times when the whole world was often against uh, Israel. Rabbi Bowman has guided and educated hundreds of Christian pilgrims through the ICEJ for the past 14 years. This year, um, everybody gets to sit in front of the computer and or their phone and is able to experience it when they otherwise would not be able to. So I think amazingly this year the reach can be absolutely phenomenal and that everyone should be part of it. Israel's greatest friends in the world are uh, Christian Zionists and that the ICEJ is the greatest of the greatest friends. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.